morning, and welcome to the morning charge. This is the episode for July 30th, Monday, 2012. This is a production of Reactive LLC, and my name is Chris Kerr. I'm your host. Today, actually, we've got some pretty interesting stuff on the table. Um, a little wrap-up of the weekend. As those of you who watched Friday's episode know, we had uh, some breaking news of our own that we discovered about social media trends, and that was uh, produced into a, a, a blog or, a, or an article on social media today, and it looks like it really caught on. Uh, we had almost a thousand views by the end of the day on Sunday, and that represented largely the most viewed article on social media today for the entire weekend. So that looks like it was really pretty popular, so we're working hard to make sure you get a lot more of the same kind of content. So this morning, did a lot more uh, deeper research, and uh, we're going to start off with some overseas news. Starting with Singapore, uh, if you go to PR Web in particular, but you can look this up uh, through the internet as usual. Um, anything I show you, you can typically Google. Uh, but in this case, there's a, a note about Singapore's uh, Q2 business formation activity. And what they're talking about in this case is that the statistics for the number of new businesses that are opening up in Singapore is actually pretty consistent from Q1 to Q2. In American terms, it's not a large number of businesses, but again, this is Singapore. This this isn't the U.S., so it's it's a it's still a pretty sizable number of businesses that are growing. And one of the things that is very much worth noting about this particular article or, or press release is that they discovered that of the businesses that are formed in Singapore, uh, or were formed in Singapore in uh, Q2 of this year, 66% of all the new businesses were 100% locally owned. And that percentage showed absolutely no change from Q1, so it shows that there's a lot of locally homegrown businesses. In particular, mostly companies, because if you look further into the, the article, you notice that um, the sole proprietor registrations kind of dropped a little bit while the company formations increased. But that's all local businesses, or largely local businesses, over two-thirds. So Singapore is getting it right. They're doing a lot to promote their own entrepreneurship values, and that's really what's going to get the global economy back on track. So kudos to, to Singapore and to the companies that are being formed out there. In our first uh, tool of the week, uh, not just the, this episode, but of the week, I wanted to share a tool that works not just as an e-commerce uh, function for your Facebook page, which is one of the, the reasons I wanted to share it with you. It, it also will work as an e-commerce function for all of your other sites. Maybe not all, but a large number of them. And it's got the ability to take PayPal, Google Wallet, Authorized Net, Pay by Check, and a whole bunch more. And it's got basic and, and silver uh, levels. And basic basically is free. So you can have your entire e-commerce process managed basically for free. Or for 17 bucks a month, you can have a whole pile of extra benefits out of it. Uh, and the benefits are literally really well worth that uh, extra $17 a month. Um, but why I raise this is because a lot of the e-commerce tools out there for either Facebook or social media or WordPress site or that kind of stuff, they're, they're one stop. That Not from the point of view of all-inclusive, but you shop there, that's, that's it. There's no data that's transferred beyond that to a central data warehouse. This one, it's all centralized. So you're getting all of your data from all of your different sites in one spot. You can upload and update all of your products in one spot as well. And what that does for you as a manager is it gives you the ability to really track and see what's selling where. Where are your strong suits in terms of your, your sales opportunities? What e-commerce sites that you have up there are not producing as much as you'd like? And that gives you a chance to do something about it. You can actually do something to change the impact of uh, e-commerce trends before they become 
financially devastating or before they become financially irreparable. The sooner you can act on that kind of data, the better it is. So having one tool that kind of wraps all of your e-commerce into one is, is a, a huge benefit. A lot of major software corporations or companies, developers, they're all working on building this kind of a tool for all of the major corporations out there. So the fact that there's somebody here who's offering something like this, largely either free or 17 bucks a month, that's peanuts compared to the kind of money that other companies are spending for that kind of data access. So well worth taking a look at ecwid.com and they'll give you a demo, there's help, there's information about the company, community, forums, ideas, bug tracker, etc. And a whole bunch of other goodies and, and whatnot. But it will handle your e-commerce applications. It handles your shipping costs based on the order's IP address. It will integrate directly and create a, a Facebook store. It will integrate to other social networks. It supports downloadable products. It, it's a, a pretty broad tool for handling your e-commerce transactions. And as I noted in an article that should be coming out either tomorrow or Tuesday on social media today, a lot of companies are ramping up big time right now on their e-commerce plans uh, so that they're ready for Cyber Monday this year because this year they're looking to hit a record $1.5 billion worth of sales on Cyber Monday in the U.S. alone. So well worth the investment to try and capture your share of that bountiful uh, sales day. So that's our first tool of the day. Now we're on to basically entrepreneurship in the U.S. That's the, the story of this particular article by uh, Boro. And uh, Boro is a lender. Um, basically, they lend based on uh, a number of different uh, things, but it's basically against personal assets, and they, they lend directly to businesses. And it's a range of a thousand to a million bucks uh, based on whatever your assets are, your jewelry, watches, gold, fine art, antiques, luxury cars, wine, other high-value assets. Um, that they're affiliated with the auction houses, so that's you don't pay back, and they seize it and auction it off, that kind of a thing. But what Boro has done is they've taken a look at entrepreneurship in the U.S., and they had a, uh, a very reputable firm, uh, Harris Interactive, do a whole study on American attitudes towards entrepreneurship, especially in the current economy. And they've discovered that 56 million Americans want to start their own business, but are hesitant, hesitant to do it in the current sluggish business environment. At the moment, only about 14 million, or 6% of adults, are actually trying to do it at the moment. And if you've paid attention to any of the uh, data or documents I've shown you before, you'll see that that's a huge impact on our overall economy. We've talked about it before. The biggest and best way for us to get out of this economy is to grow new small businesses. The average small business generates three jobs in its first year, which means that if all 56 million Americans who wanted to start their business were actually able to do it and had the confidence to go out and do it, that would be 162 million new jobs this year. So we need to find ways to make sure that 56 million Americans get the opportunity to give this a whirl. Not only that, that's the only way we're going to get the national average back in, on track in terms of this 99%, 1% nonsense. The reason for the, the discrepancy growth is not because the 1% is ripping us off more. It's because the 99% has been a lot less entrepreneurial than in past years. In fact, we've seen a 30% decline over the last 30 years in new business launches um, in overall entrepreneurship in, in this country. So on that basis... This number here shows that Americans still want to start their own businesses. They just don't think they can do it. They don't think it would be successful in this environment. And that's something we have to fix in this country. So 
I definitely recommend you take a look at this article uh, and, and get a real handle on how we as a society might be able to help get those businesses launched and get the job creation going in this country. Next, I'm going to move on to our second tool of the day. And this is from a company called App Bistro. And I've recommended them before on a couple of different things. But this one in particular, I think, is awesome. They're offering a, a tool, and it's from Woobox. Um, and it is $29.99 a month as a starting price. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to set up your own group deals. So just like you'd have Groupon or um, Living Social or any of those other deals, you can set up your own group deals. You can set it up either it's one per user, one-time use, um, fans only, a limited number, deals that only happen if a certain number of deals are sold. Um, it's got the whole range of options. And for $29.99 a month, I know, based on the amount of money that companies spend getting these group deals underway, that this is a phenomenal option to either expand those processes or run it instead of them or find another way to generate people to, to come to your business. It gives you the opportunity to have these people only be fans. So it gives you a chance to, to really connect with these people, build up that loyalty, build up that ongoing revenue stream without selling the farm. You can still do a 50% discount or whatever that, that deal is, but instead of sharing it again by 50% with your, your customer or with the company that's doing it, you're only paying $29.99 a month, $29.99 a month for the whole bleeping thing. So it's well worth looking at if you're looking at doing any group deals whatsoever. So uh, there will be a new social media today article um, by Reactive. I uh, submitted it on Sunday and uh, it's dealing with a lot of the uh, information for Cyber Monday that's coming out as companies start getting ready for it. So do look to that and make sure you check out the article from Saturday talking about which social media are driving the most traffic. Really important information on both of them. Again, this has been The Morning Charge. I am Chris Kerr. Thanks so much for joining us, and we really look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.